Hello guys, today we're going to see how to scan QR codes in your Android app. Uh, we're not going to go into too much details, we're going to just use a library that we created to make the job easy for you. Basically what you have to do with this library is uh, you start an activity for result and then you scan your QR code and then you get the result. Uh, the library has also an added feature of choosing an image that contains QR code from your gallery and uh, scan it. That's a feature you don't see in many locations, but we did need it for our internal projects and uh, we included it in the, in the library for you to use. So without wasting any time, let's get started writing a small app to show off that library. So scan, we start a new project, we call it scan your QR code or scan QR, your QR, right? So it's stored here, you can store it wherever you want on your, on your device. So we're going to choose Android 16 because we want it, uh, but you can also use 15 and up, okay? We choose empty activity, you probably know all this, uh, hit finish. And uh, so we go to the page of the library, uh, it's hosted on GitHub. Uh, to use it, uh, you just add a few dependency lines in your Gradle files and you are ready to go. So let's see, are you done? Wait, wait, wait. And so to use it, you go to the root Gradle file in your project. You add this Maven dependency. Uh, you go to your app level Gradle file. You add the dependency for the library. So come GitHub Blycoon QR code scanner. You add the version and uh, you start going in your Java files, uh, calling stuff. Okay, Grad Android Studio is done. So our root Gradle file is located It's here, right? So it's a, the project, a scan your QR, build Gradle project, you can see it here. So we come in here, uh, below G Center, I, uh, J Center, I guess. Mm -hmm. All projects, repositories. We copy this thing and we put it in there below J Center here. So we go to the app level Gradle file of our project. We also add another dependency, which is the specific library that we want to add. Okay. So we add it here and we sync. It's going to take some seconds to do that. Uh, while it's syncing, oh, let me wait so you can see the steps. Okay, now it's done syncing. And if you go into, uh, oh, where? Project external libraries, you're going to see a QR code scanner here. Uh, this means that we have the library already and that we can use it. If you didn't know that, now you know, right? Okay, so we go to our activity main file and we remove this text if you, we don't want it. So we add, come on, don't hang Android Studio, <coughs> button, okay match parent wrap content so we put in some text uh, mm -hmm. scan okay actually let's match the parent so we have a very huge button mm -hmm. id scan right okay scan button now we have a button in our design file can see it's a huge button that says scan. So we go back to our main activity and uh, 
private at the button button okay and after we call set content view we do button button uh -uh, find view by ID you probably know all this our ID scan button okay so now we have it we set a click listener on what the heck is wrong with you set on click listener new view on the click listener and now we have a way to respond when users click on this button what we're going to do when they click here we're going to start an activity to scan qr codes but uh, we're going to start that activity for result uh, it is a good idea here to add a non-activity result override method you hit alt insert and we're going to override methods you know on activity Result right it's this one and you hit okay now you have uh, the on activity result method so we can go cheat a little bit on the library page so to use this uh, we've already covered the dependencies right now we can add this you know request code thing copy paste it doesn't hurt now okay so now we have this, you know, integer that represents our request to go scan QR code. And uh, when they click on the button, uh, we start the activity for result. So I, I don't really write to, to copy stuff because you don't see this. So we say intent I equals new intent mm -hmm. main activity this qr code activity class you probably know all this so we start activity for result for result I right that's what the page says here and uh, you pass in the request could QR scan editor so now when when the user clicks on so at this moment, if the user clicks this thing, this button, uh, we're going to see an activity to scan QR codes. But before we do that, we need to add permissions because our app uses the camera. So we need to add the camera permission, also the vibrate permission, because when you successfully scan the QR code, it's going to give to vibrate and play a bit sound. So you need to add this couple of permissions, right? So I don't write that because I'm really bad at typing. Okay, now we can actually run our app and see how it behaves. Okay, so let's try to run it. We're going to run it on an Android device. By the way, uh, we're not going to be able to see the app on the cam open the camera so to test our QR codes we're going to open files in the gallery but if you have real device you can try it on right now and uh, it's going to scan it's scanning now on my app but I have no easy way to to show you to show you my device on the screen of my computer you know I searched online on ways to do that and uh, it was all complicated and I uh, really didn't want to spend my time doing that okay our app is coming up okay now you see that we have the button here so if I click on it hopefully our activity is going to show up could not open your camera why 
it didn't open the camera because we uh, we have to give these up permissions uh, these are things that come with Android uh, later versions of that of Android so we find settings I guess we're going to go in settings right now and give this app permissions to use the cameras. Okay, it's pretty slow now, but... Uh, 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 scan your QR, that's what we call it, right? Scan your QR, okay. Permissions? pretty slow camera we give it storage and we give it permission so now if you run the app it's going to to show the camera on our on our emulated device okay scan your QR we start the app again scan and uh, you can see now that uh, we have a frame to scan QR codes uh, remember that you just had to call an activity to have everything set up for you. Now, if we actually open the picture, we click on the picture, we're going to open the gallery, and we click on an image that contains QR code, uh, it's going to scan it. But right now, it's not going to tell us anything because we're not catching the result back. Uh, that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so we go in on activity result, you know, we started the activity with this thing here, request code QR scan. If we go back to the library, uh, we have a pretty good function here that implements our own activity research things. Okay, so we can actually copy it. I'm going to copy it because I don't want to type all these things. Okay, so I copy all this. Put it in here so you can spend some time learning this if you want. Okay. Okay, so we're going to alt enter. Import class. Alt enter. Log tag. Alt enter. <laughs> so private final string log tag equals scan your QR right so right now so I'm going to try and explain it hmm so we log uh, if research code equals Result OK. If result is not OK, it's different from result OK, so we, we could not get the result OK. So the activity was either stopped, you know, the user clicked the back button without actually scanning any QR code or something like that. We fall here, you know. If it didn't pass any data, we just get out. If it did pass some data, it means that the QR code scanner activity actually failed and it gives you an error that it passed in here so we pass the error using this you know string you know combo icon qr code scanner error decoding image and we show a dialog with the message result where is it result 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 <laughs> set message QR code cannot be scanned so if we don't fall here we actually scan the QR code okay so we can go down here if we we had an error notice that we turn out of this block we come here we had the result you know if data equals null so data couldn't be passed it's also uh, some kind of error so we get out and uh, if we pass here we catch the result which is identified by this string here and then we show an alert dialog with the the actual message of the result here okay 
So now if we run the app again, we are going to see the scan result uh, that is stored in our app. So notice that you can also come here into Android monitor and actually see thanks QR let's say scan your uh, 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 uh. okay so the app is started uh, luckily if we're lucky it's going to work start the camera okay so we can't scan any QR code because it's using an emirated camera so we choose a picture from the gallery right now okay pick the picture and we should see the result if everything is okay so we see the scan result which is blycon.com here okay so if we look in gallery what does the log uh, message say here do we have okay so we can look for this in log tag see so have scan research in your app activity and it is blycon.com so you can see now that we can scan QR codes very easily using this library I hope you like it if you like it please go to github and uh, give it a star so that many people can find it for now if you have any questions feel free to shoot me here uh, we actually have a page for this library at our page uh, at our website uh, you can actually visit that and uh, give us any questions you might have on the usage of the library for now i hope this has been informative to you guys and uh, thanks for watching